Hi people, so today we are going to learn how we can create a flip menu design in Photoshop. So what is a flip menu? A flip menu is a design element that comes when the three lined button is clicked. So I have already a design. You can see that there are some elements and we have a darker layer that covers the background because this, this flip menu comes like this. Whenever you click on this button, this one over here is called the menu button. When, you, when we click on it, the flip menu most probably comes like this, sliding over like this. This is how the flip menu function works. So let's start working on it. So I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to choose an Android, uh, Android display design. Okay. I can't find it. Yeah, the, this one. Android 1080p. Okay. So I am just going to duplicate it into a new layer so that I get rid of that artboard stuff. It just makes my Photoshop heavy. So let's just close all these things. So I have a dashboard design. This is just an image. So I'm going to duplicate it on my new layer here. So first of all, whenever we click on this button, a darker layer comes over the document or over the design. Okay, so for that I'm going to create a shape layer. I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to fill in the width and the height of my document that is 1920 into 1080. I, I have just placed it in a wrong manner, so I'll correct it. 1080 to 1920. So, to make it completely on my document, I'll just zero out the X and Y values. And there we have the shape layer just as of the size of our document. So we need it to be of darker shade so I'm going to take the black color and I'm, I'm going to take down its opacity somewhat around this. Now I need a flip menu shape layer. For that I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to put a white color for instance. I'm going to take the opacity full and I'm going to just slide it over here like this. This this width, dip, this width depends upon the design that you want to create. You can even have it till this, this place. You can have it over this place also. It's just up to you. Okay. So now let's just put some gradient over it. For that, I can either press U and go into the shape layer element and then choose the third option from the left that is the gradient. I want the gradient to be like this only, light to dark vertically. It's just I just want to change the color a bit. Maybe it's light up blue, like this. Light it. Yeah, this looks good to me. Now I'm going to put some texture over the gradient so that it looks a little bit better. For that, I'm going to use the texture that I have. I already have in my document. So the texture looks something like this. This is the texture. We have capsules, we have a notepad, and we have a medical symbol, plus symbol over here. So I'm going to use this texture. You see, I have a texture that covers my whole document, but just because I need it 
only on my flip menu i'm going to create a clip clipping mask for that i'm going to click between these two layers by pressing alt key on my keyboard and left mouse button so this way the texture is only on my flip menu layer now we need to blend this texture with the gradient that we have created on the below present shape layer for that i'm going to use a blending mode and i'm going to use multiply i'm going to decrease this opacity of the texture to somewhat around 60% so that it is visible but it is not prominent enough to be distracting now to separate this flip menu from the background i'm going to put some shadow beneath these two layers for that i'm going to use the fx menu and i'm going to put a drop shadow filter over it so as you can see it is right now at 90 degrees but we want it to be around somewhat around here so that it can separate the two layers so i'm going to change the angle to this 180 degree and i'm going to increase the distance a little bit increase the size for softness of the shadow and i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit now you can see that the background in the flip menu layer is at a distance it appears to be at a distance now we can work on the flip menu so here we have a header area okay where we have the app name the user's name and its location i don't think we have to like write all these again and again so i'm going to use it from the already present design as you can see our flip menu is a little bit light dull so i'm going to increase the color value is in these gradient colors so i'm going to increase the brightness so that it looks a little bit warm and appealing to the user there we go these colors are your choice or your client's choice that depends on what you are what sort of app you are working on then we can uh, then i'm going to start working on the options that we have so you can see to differentiate a selected option from a non selected one i'm i'm using a darker layer on the selected one so first of all let's just place this home and this home icon on a layer like this now to make it a button or to specify it a area that the user understands i'm going to create a shape layer i'm going to put the shape layer just beneath the text that we have in the home layer as you can see we cannot see what we have created so for that i'm going to change the color of this layer to black we place the layer just below the home layer and we decrease the opacity so this just gives us a look that we have clicked on this particular option i i'm creating a group of these three elements the logo so the icon text and the shadow selected shadow okay i'm going to create a group of it so let's call it a group one now i'm going to duplicate the group and i'm going to duplicate it again now i'm going to select all these these three layers and i'm going to duplicate them again keep the distance uniform i'm going to select all these groups 
I'm going to go to this particular option that we have over here. The option says distribute vertical centers. I want to press it. So as you can see, we have uh, we already have a dis uh, symmetric distribution, so there is no problem over it. So, but right now all these layers are appearing to be selected. So I, all I'm going to do is select all the darker layers. I'm just clicking by pressing Alt and my uh, and I'm selecting it by using the right mouse button. But this way I have selected the BG layer, okay. So this is not going good. Wait a second. So since it's a BG layer, I, I want to it to be the background. So I am just drying the layer and I'm putting it over the gradient layer. So that all my element layers are above it. For selecting the layer, I'm going to click the right mouse button and click the Alt key on my keyboard. And for multiple selections, I'm going to press Ctrl and Shift as well. So now we can see what layers we have to deal with. Okay, I'm just deselecting the home layer. And I right now I have all these layers selected. So I, I'll just make them non-visible for a moment. So this way you can differentiate between these layers and the selected layer. You can put all the elements that you want to put. Okay, so we can have all these different options whatever we have in the application and we can create them. Now still we can see that something is missing between these layers this looks like a fine design to me but still we can improve it by creating some separators between these options so let me just enable all these layers again and let's just duplicate one of these layers i'm going to select the home layer I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to use a white color. I'm going to squeeze the height of this layer somewhat to this extent. I'm going to put it in between these two layers. Let's make it make it its opacity 20%. Now I'm taking it out of the group. And let's just sorry. And I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to place it between all these elements. We don't need to place a separator at the end of the element. Okay. So now I'll just deselect. Sorry, I'll just select all these layers and make their eyes off. That. So as you can see, these separators can have a little bit of work done over them. This one is the last one. I'll press the U key and I can see the height is 7 pixels. That is way too much for a separator. So I'm going to use 3, three pixels for the separator so that it looks more classical. Okay, I'm going to do this with all these separators. That's it. Now we are good to go. So you can see this is just so simple to create a flip menu design in Photoshop. Now you see that we have some similar looking icons. So you can always change these icons 
according to your needs but to keep them aligned let's suppose you start editing and you place these icons somewhere like that okay so these icons must be horizontally aligned with the text okay and this text must be in the center of this area i'm just using the align buttons to align them horizontally okay now to align all the icons vertically we have to select all of them for that i'm going to use alt right click alt right click plus control and shift same 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 and same so we have all the icons selected now we can just click on this align horizontal centers and we have all the icons in the center so that's it this is how we can create a simple but classic looking design for a flip menu for an android or you can uh, use it for an ios design also thanks for watching the video and keep subscribing and keep learning and just like the video if you liked it and leave a comment if you have any queries or if you want something specific to be created in photoshop and you don't know how to do it you can write it in the comments below and we'll try to cover it with a tutorial thank you